Exactly 50 years since it took New York by storm off Broadway, Mark Crowley's The Boys in the Band is being revived for a limited run on Broadway. It was tried out, uh, you know, in a workshop, and then it was very cautiously moved off Broadway, and nobody knew whether it was going to work there or not. Set in Manhattan in 1968, the play puts the spotlight on a birthday dinner party, hosted by Shark Tongue Michael. Well, am I stunning? You look like shit, but I'm absolutely stunned. As the guests exchange witty repartee, their backstories emerge. About it. I'm about to do both. I'm flying to the West Coast. You still have that act with a donkey in Tijuana? I'm going to San Francisco on a well-earned vacation. And as the evening progresses, a series of surprises combined with lots of alcohol to take events down a dark path. I said you're not going. Beware the hostile fag. When he's sober, he's dangerous. When he drinks, he's lethal. Originally premiering just one year before the Stonewall riots, the play shocked the nation for its brutally honest portrayal of the lives of the gay men at the heart of the story. How'd you like to kiss my ass? That's got two or more S's in it. How'd you like to blow me? So how do your wife got locked you up? Faggots! At that particular time, you go see the play. But then you go out for a drink that night and you could be arrested. Making the leap from stage to screen, the original cast made Hollywood history. It was quite a scandal as an out gay film. And resulted in a Golden Globe for Kenneth Nelson's portrayal of Michael, party host and frenemy to the birthday boy Harold. Oh God, I'm drunk. A fallen down drunk Nelly Queen. Well, that's the pot calling the kettle beige. Proving to be a seminal work that not only gave visibility to gay lives and gay culture, the play is considered to be instrumental in the rise of LGBT activism. Future gay activists sitting in the audience who were being imbued with the idea that this is something that we should be open about and proud of. After becoming an overnight sensation in the US in 1968, the play hit London almost 50 years later, with actor Mark Gattis and his real-life husband Ian Hallard bringing the bitchy comedy drama to British audiences in 2017. If it takes me a while to pull myself together, it's nobody's goddamn business but my own. Tony Award winner Joe Mantello is directing the new Broadway production with a superstar cast including Zachary Quinto, Matt Bomer and the Big Bang Theory's Jim Parsons. You just have to be reminded of how our freedom didn't exist. We can't lose it. We can't go back. But you'll always be homosexual as well. Always, Michael. Always. Until the day you die. Well, that's all from us for this week. Don't forget to catch up daily bulletins throughout the week at Pink 60 News and join us again next time for more Pink 60 Entertainment.